for taking you on a cultural journey in Fond du Lac. Emily Deem is live at Moraine Park Technical College with more. Hi, Em. I am ready to eat, Rachel and Pete. You have to take a look at this berry tiramisu. Remember, we were making that in our last segment. Tom Endion is here. He created this beautiful piece of art. Now, I know the original tiramisu, you know, the traditional kind, you actually transformed it into a berry tiramisu. Why'd you do that? Yes. It's a spring event. They brought me a recipe. We reformulated it and put it up to this. We used ricotta instead of a mascarpone, cut back on the calories quite a bit, used a, a raspberry liqueur, and then pureed our own raspberries and strained them and it comes out really nice. It's a nice fresh thing for summer where sometimes the tiramisu is so good but it can be so rich. Yeah. This, this is a different component to it. I can't wait to try this. And my mom is a pastry chef. She makes tiramisu all the time. Mom? Mm. 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 That is good stuff, mm. Tom. Mom, nothing like yours though, right? Time I gotta say that to my mom. <laughs> All right, we gotta work our way over here. We're gonna take a look at a Filipino dish that they're making out here too. James Simmers, you're in the kitchen Hello. this morning. I am. Let's see where you usually find me this time of morning. Yeah, yeah. usually in the kitchen. Yeah, this pretty looks much. Amazing. This is so neat, and you know, I just learned this from the multicultural club. Um, it's a lot of fun. A lot of families made it, and everyone's kind of got their different version. So this, this is, is our version. This is a Filipino pancet, otherwise yep. known as lo mein. Lo mein. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. According to our expert, <laughs> um, as we consulted earlier from the multicultural club, um, it's called pancet, also called lo mein, because Philippines they took a lot of dishes from other countries too, kind of made their own signature to it. So what's so, all in it? Well, as you can see, it's the chicken you were stirring. That's yep. credit to you. We also have the uh, udon noodles. We have lots of different kinds of vegetables. And of course, my personal favorite, the whole cloves of garlic. Ugh. Okay, Lots of fresh ginger in here. The whole big thing about this dish to me, fresh. Mm. fresh. Now it's just got a nice fresh tang to it. You gonna try some? Oh, of course I okay. want to try some. James, kind of go over too about what people are going to see at Multicultural Day. I mean, with the food, that's one really main aspect of the event that, too. It's so cool because what happens is the Multicultural Club comes together with the Culinary Club. And think of all the great things all those students can do here. It's great for the community, who's welcome. It's great for the students here who also know all about it. So it's a lot of fun that the students can have, the community can have. And I think people out there are seeing what we're doing here at Marine Park. Great. So, go ahead, dish sure. me up some of that. Do you have any other interviews today? Oh, uh, well, I, I don't know, Rachel and Pete, don't, you want this all back at the station don't, don't later today? Don't too hard. No, I go to work every day smelling okay. like ginger. And you and actually said so. you're going to try the chopsticks today, right? I, am I going to use chopsticks? Sure. On live TV, or would you rather have a fork? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Wait, we forgot. Lee's been here. Just a little bit of fresh cilantro on here. Okay. Get that fresh oh, yeah. flavor. Cilantro, a, really? One, yeah, and one quick squeeze of lime. Oh. Right on there. Looks perfect. So you know how to use Look that. Look how beautiful. That's how you do it. It's hot. Don't burn your mouth. Yeah, really. Wow. See, all the flavors come together, the freshness mm. of the lime and the cilantro. And that cilantro, too, that just adds a yep. little bit, yep. little really bit more to the dish. Yep, it really does. I'm going to take that. <laughs> <laughs> Should we pack some up or no? Yeah, yeah that <laughs> yeah, would be right. a little bit to go. <laughs> so you, we got to have people come and check it out. Rachel and Pete, we got to bring some back for them. This is just amazing, the tiramisu, everything. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm going to go. I'm going to finish this. I'm, I shouldn't eat too much because I'm going to be wrapped in a traditional Indian sari. You won't want to miss it. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to see that coming up. So stay with us. We have plenty more to come here. We've got all the information to at our website. So check that out for Multicultural Day tomorrow out here. We'll send it back to you for now. i got to go eat this. Thanks, I like Dan. when she, she Bye, guys. does this. Yeah. Like, she's got the moves down. Oh, it tastes so good.